Yo, Ping Ray in here, bro. It's Ray Gift TV. Okay, so check it out. Wax 100 reacts to Lamonte now being the spokesperson for Big U, and Wax flames him. Hey, yo, Ray. What? Let's get to the content. It's Ray Gift TV. In the block. Allegedly been with each other. Ain't no record. You don't got no phone out, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's You just, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's fan shit. So I seen when he got there, went live, and Khaled walked by. See, one thing about Khaled, when you there with Khaled and both Khaled, and Khaled is there fucking with you, he's going to do what he always does. Yo, what's up? It's me in the field. I'm here with such and such. We the best. We going up. It's life. It's love. He going to do all that shit. That nigga Khaled walked right by. Nigga, Pistol Pete. You call Pistol P, and Pistol P said, come out, and Khaled them gonna be there, and we'll make it look like something. Cause I know every nigga that was at that party. Me, Fat Joe, and Game, damn, they had a fight 18 months ago about who was gonna pay the bill at fucking Prime 112. It was 30 of us. We fighting oh, on, I Miami. got the bill. Yeah, I got the bill. No, I got the bill. Nigga, fuck that whack. Y'all in my backyard is my fucking bill. So I'm sitting here watching this nigga. I'm going to send it to you, Chuck. While Bad Joe telling Khaled, my nigga, you brought me a Rolex watch, love. I just brought a nigga Rolex two days ago for his birthday. Then here it go. You blessed me with one. The nigga Big U is over there with his phone, bro, recording this shit. You supposed to be that. I'm feeling embarrassed and ashamed, but this is the dirtiest of it all. You didn't even bring the nigga a gift. Mm, damn. That's crazy. Bro. So, dude need to just kick back. He should, really should go back to the Muslim, to the mosque. Get right, because we talked to them. They said he ain't been certified in 15 years of doing what he's supposed to do. His Muslim name is Hannibal. For those of y'all don't know. Um, but in the half, do Sims go at Black Sam? Bro, once yeah, again, like, hey, hey, once on. again, like I told Brick Baby, I say, Brick Baby, do Sims called you and recorded you, right? And then played your shit. I said, he only did it because the nigga gave him the green. So for that nigga to go at Black Sam, that means Big U gave him the green. He got to be dumb as a box of rocks, knowing that this man is only batting at 10% about what he really knows. Hey, but listen to this. This is the crazy part, though. So I was listening to Odie and Slim the other day, and they was on live, and they seen Odie and Slim and uh, Spider Loki saying that, that was, they telling him that was a play. That was a play to act like the phone, that he didn't know the phone call was being recorded. I'm like, are you serious, bro? This shit, you can't make this stuff. That sounds dumb as hell. What was the play? The, the part that they recorded the phone call and Brick was supposed to act like he didn't know. Like, huh? No, Brick called me. Listen. Brick called me as soon as he got the phone. He said, whack, the nigga do Sims just called me, bro. He was asking me a bunch of questions. He said, I don't know, but I think the nigga about to been recording me. I said, well, Brick, whatever you say once, be prepared to say twice. He said, I'm just letting you know. I said, actually, hold on. I got loose cannon on the phone. Him and Luke, this is when they put together, they was going to come sit out and have a conversation. This is when all that happened. He said, I just hung over the phone with the nigga, but I think the nigga might have been recording. Right? So I'm like, well, shit, nigga, you know where I come from. I tell the nigga, you can record me all day, every day. Whatever I say once, I'm going to say twice. If you ask me a third time, I might fuck around and say it a little worse. I don't give a fuck. But so see, I his said, credibility going like this. They don't like that shit. Then people don't even like ODM Slim. Like, they don't like that shit. Niggas recording phone calls and do say, you know, do that. Before. All them that do it. The, that wasn't the first call Deuce recorded. Deuce recorded Spider Loke a couple of months ago. And him and Spider Loke had to squash that out because he didn't like the fact that he didn't record it. Well, you got to remember, them niggas is a year behind. I already told my team, I said, look, bro, these niggas are lie. These niggas will blow their hood up, their mama and kids, all that. The only way to beat them is with them. 
So it's, that's what it is, nigga. Whenever you on these lines, nigga, don't say nothing, nigga, that you don't want to, you don't want to be heard. Period. So the only way we was able to to to, to expose them niggas, cause they a lie, is to have the content. Unfortunately, that's what it is. Now, if a nigga on the phone giving a description of a murder with a body at, or a bank robbery with the money at, first of all, you shouldn't be on the phone having them type of discussions. So, anything, motherfucker, we recording you on, nigga, it's pretty much restricted to if you lying and telling the truth and your credibility on social media and YouTube land. All that other shit, y'all, nigga, listen. Listen. If we wouldn't, then we wouldn't know. Because you niggas will lie and swear to God it never happened. Then you hit play. But we had already did the damage on you niggas. By the time you niggas been caught up and caught off the yellow bus with the helmet on, it's too late. Like I told Lucy 600, I said, bro, they whole regime is tore down over there. Nothing's shaking. Big, big U is, is, he don't know what he doing. Do something them picked up 3,000 subs off of all that whack, loose cannon, big U back and forth. All he was able to capitalize was 3,000 subscribers. That's bad work. It's over with. Then you, then you got caught with the fake paperwork. Then you send Wack a bag with the World Star shit, a free bag, which is telling people the only way Wack could sue the World Star for defamation of character is if the shit you got is fake. Right. It's the only way I can sue. So they, they, they doing it. They doing it all for us. Keeping it real, so. The fact that they went at Black Sam, they about to lose everybody with that one. Yeah, I mean, we could play a little bit of that live, but Chuck, you think I was trolling game? Like, this is the first time I heard this. Listen. Official voice and reaction. Hold on. Big U, this is the official voice and reactions of anything Big U. Anything Big U. You want to know why? Because he know we're going to go by receipts. You want to know why? Because he know that we understand politics. You want to know why? Because I spent over a quarter century of my life in prison. But yeah, I wasn't trolling. Like, that's the official voice. What is he talking about? So, he's saying, nigga from Fruitown Brim, the nigga who called Big U a snitch for two hours in his room called him COINTELPRO. Right. <clears throat> the nigga that got your brother rolled up and PC'd up in prison, Booker Brill. You are the voice of Big U. And Big U saying he's the voice of the Roller Sixties. <laughs> that math ain't mathin', my guy. That math ain't math. Yeah, see, like, I, I I don't know about it. none of that. I can't even comment to, you know what I mean? None of the politics, but just out of curiosity, I put in their chat yesterday, like, yo, are the points you making right now, are you speaking for yourself? Or are you speaking for Big U? Just out of curiosity, in part, I was trolling. But yeah, and then I forwarded it a little bit later, and I heard that, and I'm just like, oh, shit. He getting off I don't, I don't think he's speaking to me, but... Big, you ain't told that nigga to do that. Big, you didn't check. I that. mean, nah, that shit. That nigga gonna call that nigga, and tell that nigga check. Listen, bro. Big, you know what that nigga is, bro. Period. But the reason I, I, I said that too, though, was like I just thought I didn't understand why niggas is going up black sand now. Like, I, I, let me try to find some of the part when they was talking about it. It just didn't make sense. I don't know if that's just dude smacking him, but. Cause the nigga went off. He he, uh, he tried to violate me yesterday on their life. I guess cause I'm having I had a conversation with you, or you know what I mean. So I can only keep it real with you, but you know if I ask their ass, if question, he went at Black Sam, that that's nigga, good work. I'm glad. Listen, I hope he keep going at Black Sam, cause that's that got Big U looking crazy. If you the voice of Big U and you going at Black Sam, see 
this is how slow this nigga is, Chuck. That ain't a good look. That ain't a good look at all. That's why I'm like, when you mother just told me that, I'm like, hold on, bro. You saying they went at who? Why would they go at him? Here, let me. Like I think I mean. Hard. Yeah, let me just play some of the clips. Let me see what. Um, I'm gonna try to find it. I think that's okay. what he said. Black Sam and his team tap in with Lil Rose, not Big U. Well, I'm glad that you mentioned uh, Rico the Rat Rose, and that they tapped in with them. So maybe you see something I don't see. I'm just trying to build on. Build off what you said. Let's go to this real quick. Heard that shit. Are you with Black Sam and Big U already into it? No, Black Sam was into it because of what he did to his brother. I'm not sure y'all heard that. We gonna go back into that one more time. Pay attention. <laughs> So, was Black Sam and Big U already into it? And he says, no, Black Sam, they talking about facts. Both the facts. Since we talking about Rico and Rat Rock. Brother, nigga, we talking about both the facts. And they no, let them work. Get, 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 let them work. Said, was Big U already into it with both the facts? CS2 back and his good talent ass stay. No, nah, uh, like Sam was into it because of what he did to his brother. So, Black <laughs> Sam was into it if you believe the Federal Confidential Source 137. He's into it with um, both the facts because um, them getting into it. I guess they allegedly, as her, they jumped both the facts. Nipsey and his brother, even though that was one of his best friends, when he get into it with Black Sam, which obviously Black Sam is constantly showing some type of uh, friction with other people. Maybe he has a, 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 a problem associating with others. He's real quiet. So his interaction, maybe he's quiet because his interaction with other people ain't necessarily always positive. But for whatever happened, they, they done jumped on both the facts. And after they jumped on both the facts, both the facts, Shake them when he got his own cush spot on West Boulevard and was doing his thing. For anybody that's not keeping up, he's saying that Nipsey and Black Sam jumped fast. But hold on, how did he get that? I said, hey, hey, let whack, let bro, him cook. How did he get that, bro? Black Sam's cook. brother is Nipsey. Let him cook. See, but hey, this hey, nigga ain't been around in 15 like, years. I gave a lot of like this dude, uh, big you shit grace because I, you know, we was cool and shit, but nah. salute to everything you said on that live about me. Why, why, uh, Black Sam didn't mention it, right? You, you guys was talking about both the facts and all of this type of stuff. Why you bringing up theories? Don't tell us half truths and whatever. Why didn't you bring? these facts to the table. I'm quite sure you 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 can you want to explain to us why uh, why he felt the need, both the facts felt the need to go get his own uh his own cush box. Obviously it was some kind of disagreement of some sort. Did it lead to physical violence? Did you and Nick jump on him? And this is really pertinent also when you get to thinking about and talking about everybody that y'all want to speculate might have had a reason to dislike Nip. Till you don't like somebody, don't mean that you want to see them on the lot. Right. You know what I'm saying? But right. I think that is it's fair 
if you want to mention and throw out big you name, see that's too bad, loose cannon, because Black Sam didn't say nothing. I mean, he, he a lot of people feel that they can infer that that's what he was talking about. But dur throughout the, the whole duration of his conversation, he said others, plural, sent by other people, right? So it's, it's leaving more than one. And he spoke about also them talking about it. That was something else that initially CS2 back and Loose Cannon tried to push that narrative. Well, I'm not saying that he had anything to do with it. Wait, wait, I, I, after investigations that already did started, right? If, if he wasn't doing nothing illegal or if he was doing something illegal, y'all make sure that y'all got investigations started on him. You know what I'm saying? Y'all trying to work off that time y'all to cop. You know what I'm saying? But Because, uh, dudes, you did yeah. say it. And, and Diamond can think that right. someone to uh, cooperate. One Perfect. fact, right? More than one. As in you know, to <laughs> Everybody know about the facts, yeah. Person of the day. Real quick, easy enough and got the look at common. Everybody on that block till today. That big U should be implicated in it. But they don't know how big U relationship with both the fast was he right ag right. they don't understand the permits and the allies and politics that come from being from that specific area in the 6-0 he can't go against big you big you own property on that block till today big you specific area in the 6-0 he can't go against Big U. Big U on property on that block till today. Big U, this is the official voice and reactions of anything Big U. You want to see him go hard? He's out there every day with sweats on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we sweat some. I got sweat. Hey, 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 look, they, they, I got sweat some. And uh, that was a conversation, yo. Folks. One, but two murder investigation. As if we're detecting what's going on within our community. Salute to the ruthless galaxy. Uh, outsiders. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's you, it's not the delegates, right? Outsiders and other people is not the information it's not even a business you know what i'm saying is you gonna play a part in community justice when you find out that big you had nothing to do with it and it spreads from these crazy conspiracy theorists in the name of y'all entertainment see this is the part in the elements that y'all being so uh, I, I'm just wondering how I ain't heard nobody talking about these rat ass niggas in the real quick we got that. Yeah, not a blood oh. I'm on fire moving on a pig but essentially you still kissing a pig bro this is a, a long life, but they're reacting to Black Sam's interview and shit. And then he starts talking about a lot of information. Bro, but I'm confused. How did he get to me saying he mad about what he did to his brother? How he get the facts? His brother is Nipsey. Big you went over there and put hands on Nipsey. Where, where, where he at? What is he talking about? I mean, he, he said something. Yeah, I don't know. He said something Damn, about Nip and Sam Jones. Ain't, uh, ain't Sam brother. The fuck is it? But he go a nigga that was never around. Swear to God, big you don't even like Fruit Town Brills, my nigga. Hate they fucking guts. This why this shit be funny as fuck when I sit here 
and I look at this motherfucking shit. This shit be hilarious to me. But I know Big U. He need a voice. He need somebody to say something. Because he ain't going to do it. So this dude's the crash dummy. He think he going to get something out of it. Because he think Big U got a name. Which he don't when it comes to this industry shit. So he figured like he getting something out of it. He wasn't around. Ask yourself, Deuce Hills, why you wasn't ever around? I never seen you, heard of you, never in life. Nigga, where you was at? Since you was one of them niggas, where you was at? We was all at the table. OG Bistro from Fruit Town Brim been at the table. That's your G homie. Do it, Floyd. Where you was at? Where you, where you was at? I ain't never seen you. Nowhere around, nothing about nothing about nothing. He don't know none of these dudes. He don't know Nip. He don't know Fats. He don't know Big Nigga. You just popped up six months ago after you did a two hour room calling the nigga Big U. Listen, you know what? What you do in mind? Go get that clip, bro. If you ain't got it, I think we we got it on record. But a nigga called Big U a rat, Co Intel Pro, and edit that right there with that. He's the voice of Big U. And let's figure it out. All right, man. Drop a comment down below. Big U still talking. What? And now he got Lamonte doing all the talking. Like, come on, man. This is crazy. Like, really? Dude is uh, the biggest trick bag ever. He keeps shedding light on stuff. And then now I'm talking about if it's up, it's up. What? Wow. How you go from helping people in the community to now you want to engage in that type of activity? I don't know, man. You got to make it make sense. I don't know. But other than that, man, y'all keep that notification bell turned on. I will deliver the content premium. Shout out to WAC 100. Shout out to Big Chuck. Death of the Cloud Chasers. Make sure you keep that notification bell turned on, man. I can't stress that enough. We got more content coming on the way. But until next time. Shibor Ray Giffen, I'm gone. God bless. Peace.